and we are live. Welcome to Transformers the Show. We seem to have um, not realised there's a slight problem here where the video seems to be unavailable, like it's private. So I don't know if we had to reserve a place for YouTube to actually see the trailer. But anyway, quick intro. <laughs> So good afternoon to looking at a blank screen. Um, <laughs> how, how are we meant to see this trailer? Anyone know? Or do you think they're going to make it available to everyone as soon as the trailer is aired? Or, you know, in any minute now? Or are they just going to keep it private? Uh, yeah, this is a bit strange that they are insisting on... Well, it's just not there. That's the problem. So we are trying to solve this issue as quickly as we can and once we have we'll get this shown but this is extremely annoying so yes so it should i i i don't understand why they would do that make it private not sure yeah and i will well we are both getting the same the same answer saying that it is private now the twitter post on second look does say rsvp here but there doesn't appear to be anything so i'm just going to see if i can check on youtube on paramount uh paramount's own account and hopefully we will be able to find it ah uh, right, 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 right let me see if I can do this then I'm going to try this, Jamie, and see if this is any better. You ready? Yeah, put it on anytime. <laughs> uh, Afternoon. Do we want a link? Do you, do you, is that oh, Alexis? Yeah. Shush, shush. <laughs> We're trying to fix uh, the fact that we can't actually see just the share. video. Why is it not letting me share the the tab that I've got open now? Put the link in chat, and then I can show it. Oh, I got it here. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. Do, 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 do. Right, one moment. Mm. Come on, why is it not working now? Right, I'm just going to send you the link through the private chat here. It's not a launch in space thing, is it? I think this is the, uh, yeah. This looks like something parachuting down to Earth. There's a countdown of another hour. A trailer premiere right. in an hour. <laughs> it says there's a countdown that says 55 minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Sorry, can you? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you first. Well, I can't make Just... it now. I've got. Have you got it now, Jamie? Have you got it? Ready? See that, guys? <laughs> so this this has been the biggest disaster. Um... <laughs> this is just they lied. Hi. It's two o'clock, but it's not two so, o'clock. So we just watched so, this for fifty-four minutes. <laughs> so they they made it private, and we should have reserved this. And <laughs> well, the trailer's and... not been on yet. Clearly, we've got the countdown. But so just it's two o'clock. But by the way, we're going to give you a countdown. Oh, well, this is brilliant. Watch it falling to the earth. So we obviously made a mistake. <laughs> Somewhere Did we? Line. Well, we the post says two o'clock. Well, it says six a.m. Uh, oh, it's, a, well, it, it, so. it's the whole experience of watching this thing go up into space. I don't know slowly. And it then... must be. You, you must. What yeah. the hell? 
Hang on, so we have to watch this for an hour before we actually get to see the trailer. I'm starting to feel like we should regroup and meet back up here in an hour. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but... Um... Well, I'm going to keep this live open, you know what, because it's a disaster and I think sometimes we need to keep this up for future generations to look back on this <laughs> and see what happens when people who are not professional try to do a YouTube channel and don't read anything properly. <laughs> uh, the time is, is right. It's just they don't mention that you've got to sit through this for an hour. I mean, I, I... Did you know, for the first time in the history of the world, a movie trailer has been launched into space, and it's not, not just, it's not just any movie trailer. It's Transformers 1. Did you ever think that you'd see this day? I mean, we're really the first movie trailer to be shot up in space? Yeah, yeah, the very first one. That's why this movie is called Transformers 1. Mm, that... That doesn't, that doesn't seem right, but you know what, I'll take it. I'll take it, it's fine. Should be called Transformers First, shouldn't it? Transformers First. I like the original title, Let's but I don't... With Transformers. We'll go with that. One. It's great. Well, we're here with um, Andy and Jamie, myself, to watch this exciting 52 minute... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Alexis couldn't be here because he's an idiot and decided just to leave us. <laughs> you know, we're very waiting. Um, Pete's not here because he's working. And um, we do have Substitute Pete or Peter. This is Beast Machines Cheetah. So this is um, Substitute Pete. Um, I'm going to place him down so he can watch the trailer for the whole 52 minutes, which is going on. <laughs> six, six hours just posted saying lol about 23,000 people just including us just tuned in to watch the transformers trailer at the advertised time so we are at the right time only to find a countdown timer telling them to wait another hour <laughs> so it's not <laughs> our fault it wasn't just but you us. know you know what 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 can make time disappear really quickly the internet Alcohol. Oh, yeah, and, the internet. internet and we've got an access of internet but because we have a family friendly show don't look at anything dodgy um, is there many other things we could watch or see or look, and time will disappear. I feel like we should leave this going. <laughs> Just leave it going like this. Just take I mean, ourselves so... off the screen and come back in 15 <laughs> minutes because, or 45, because I don't know, the idea of sitting and filling for 45 minutes just watching I, I, I don't know, nice. I'm just, I just think something's disastrously is going to happen, like a bird will crash into it. Um, <laughs> where, where, where has it been taken off? Is it American airspace? Are they just going to shoot it down? Or? Quite, possibly, quite possibly. Oh, we'll see a UFO. Alien invasion. This is how we find yeah. out when this thing flies into the mothership. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is um, this is a test. This is a test to see how dedicated you are to watching the trailer. I feel like I picked the wrong day to give up alcohol. I don't know. Right. I think I was broken with Andy not being able to share the link, even though he had it up in his machine. <laughs> hey, I got it to you in the end. That's all I could do. It wouldn't, it wouldn't let me share it from mine. At least we got it on the screen. I've got to say, um, why? the link they advertised why that decided not to work why did they go and say Haha, we put it on paramount you know like well this I, is the I, trick i only went on to paramount because i just i just knew it was paramount pictures so i just went on to check it but anyway we're here and this is literally what we're looking at right now and yeah so what do you think Alexis would say in a situation like this? It's, it's going up, I think, lads. It's rising slowly. I'd keep commentate the whole way through and describe everything you can see from the clouds to the ground below to the clock ticking down. He'd fill it. <laughs> because if there's one thing we know the man can do, it's fill time. Yeah, yeah. I just want to point out the link on the actual Twitter post is still not working and saying private. So... I don't know, people watching, what do you think? How many of you are still here? There's, there's the first thing. What have we got? Uh, 22? 22 of you have come to watch this nonsense. God bless each and every one of you. Skywarp SES has said, I can see the pub from here, which I think is wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Uh, I'd rather watch Alexis do another wheel than this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't, Graham. No, <laughs> no you no, wouldn't. No, Nobody would. <laughs> oh, seriously, though. I like it. What in the sneakily watching this at work is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think I, I, I'm disappointed that's what I'm saying Paddy right? I'm disappointed and, and you ruined Star you ruined Star Trek for me you started off really good brilliant series you did a brilliant first season of Picard but you messed up I don't, I, actually even Paddy might do Star Trek if I'm blaming the wrong people I don't know but this uh, this, this mm, I keep forget Star Trek because it's always good to try different stuff sometimes you get a win sometimes you don't like Picard shows you, you know, first season okay, second season awful, first season best ever. But this, this is like going to a nightclub and finding out it's just full of guys. Well, unless of course you, it's okay then. But you know, not for me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Each co-hosts are different, but I. I, I <laughs> Do we need to take the banner down so it's not obstructing part of the picture for when the trailer actually started? Forty-seven minutes and fifty-seven seconds. You know, you're right. I think we should take the banner down. I am. Um, if I you're just, here, you know who we grand. are. Alexis so is probably on the balloon. <laughs> I like how it he says only in theatres in September. What yeah. year? What year? Is that another <laughs> trick? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did this year. Uh, Murray Walker couldn't make this exciting. <laughs> uh, poor Dale's got to pick the kids up soon. Well, this is this is really <laughs> taking everybody Dale, by You said pride. kids. That means there's more than one, so there's a good chance at least one of them should survive if you don't go to pick them up straight away. <laughs> you know, yeah. averages I'm speaking here, you know. Important decisions must be made. <laughs> uh, now we can get the full experience. Yes, Dave. <laughs> the full float. This is what it'd be like if you were floating up into space. This is this is what you would experience. I don't know. I think I'd be screaming a lot. I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> well, with less screaming then. You know, I'd be constantly screaming. Or maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm scared of heights, so I do know the last time I went onto a big wheel, I didn't scream, which I was quite proud of. But I did hold on to the metal banist, um metal pole thing that goes through the carriage, and I held on to it tight, and I just closed my eyes, and I might have cried a bit. I don't know. Don't recall that. Bit. <laughs> That was my first date with Mei Lin. Obviously, that's what won her over. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Clearly, she. That toxic masculinity just shining through. Can you feel two? Can you feel? Can you two feel forty-six minutes with nonsense without Alexis? I think you know we I can, Graham. It's whether we want to. <laughs> that's the question. I actually, I've actually said to you, Alexis, get back here, you coward. <laughs> this is one of the many who seem to be working. <laughs> Oh, seriously though. He Parallel. doesn't work. He as soon as there's a post in Facebook about sales, he's like there in seconds. So, you know. <laughs> he's on it like a fucking hawk. <laughs> yes. Uh, so anyway, message. shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Uh, at least have a few discussions about some of the topical newsy bits of the. Of the week. Oh yeah. Go, go for it. You know, we've got we've got like stuff we could talk. I mean, we can't necessarily show it while we're watching. I mean, this I tell you. I I, what I got through the post today, um, I got this sort of um, the freaky beast machine, no beast war thing with the the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Oh, Magmatron. The, yeah, it just looks awesome. I've only opened it, you know, looked at the box and opened it and it's up. And I just looked at it and I just went, do you know when something should be an awful nightmare concoction, but it just looks magical? You know, it just, <laughs> yeah. It yes, looks every great. Friday at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Magmatron. Well, you know, there's there'll be some photos we'll be showing on the news tomorrow because obviously a lot of people have got this thing in hand now. Uh, yeah, I think I, I could see what you mean. I mean, it, it looks more better than it probably did. I still think the Tadokan thing is just. I mean, bizarre. the only way I could describe it is like a, having a newborn baby in your hand. Because let's be, let's be honest, babies are not attractive. They're quite ugly. They're not. There's nothing redeeming about them. You say attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, let me let me um, explain that a little Clarify. bit better. <laughs> nothing good looking about them at all. No, nothing they're, they're weird. You when you first see they're them. not like a kitten or a pet dog. God, it was so cute. <laughs> you know? uh, 
but it's just something magical about them, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, this this that Magmatron. Yeah, I can see it looks interesting, but I don't know. It's just I, I'm not a Beast Wars guy, so it just I find it. I don't very think rarely, you need to like, be a Beast Wars guy. I think. I they, think they turn like, into beasts. <laughs> so I think that's well, you, you see you see yeah. that but I would like to argue but it turns Come into on, a prehistoric beast, but she's slightly cool. You know, you know, there's nothing more cool than prehistoric animals. And especially Just Transformers based on them. Yeah. <laughs> and and and, it is, and and I keep saying it, but there's something magical about it. There's something <laughs> unique and it reminds you of what Transformer toys are meant to be. Something fun. And excited. Can you know, I just you... pull Robert Cop two up? There is no hate going on. It's because I said I don't like beef. That's not hate. <laughs> Calm down, son. Take a seat. Have a drink. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's, it's funny someone talking about hate who's, who's using an icon for fascism. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Hoisted you know. by your own petard. <laughs> yes. Uh, right. Yeah. So, so there was that. There's obviously Magmatron, which you've got. Um, I've got a couple of pickups that will show off next week. My my Thundercats collection, as it is, has grown somewhat in the last week. Um, which we'll probably talk a bit more about tomorrow. And then I'll tell you what was a weird one still. And and I get this. I, if you're in the chat still and you have an opinion, please. But the whole reissues and Jetfire and well, we, we've we already had the two primes, haven't we? We've had the Earthrise Prime that's going to be reissued. That's up for pre-order. We've got the Gamer Prime that's being reissued, even though it's shelf warming in a lot of places I've seen. And then we're now getting Siege Jetfire again, and we're getting the Shattered Glass two pack of uh, Prime and Ratchet. Now, I saw uh, comments from some people saying, oh, well, this is what we asked for. I don't remember ever seeing anybody asking for these thing, particular things being re-released. So don't get me wrong, great toys. I might even go in for that Prime and Ratchet 2 pack myself just because I love the colours on Ratchet. But did what were we asked this? Is this something that lots of people were talking about? Because I didn't see it. I, I, I certainly didn't see it getting asked for, but um, especially when you think about C's jet file did go down to like forty five quid in a lot of places, and I remember yeah. I bought you one as a present. Yeah, um, C's jet fire. But I do know that um, it seemed to be about two thousand and twenty, two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty twenty one, when a lot of new collectors came onto the scene, and a lot of these figures started to become highly sought after when they weren't there and I, and I noticed that because of when I was collecting my Michael Masters and Pretenders they used to be really reasonably priced and then suddenly they jumped by almost like a hundred percent um in prices for a lot of these things and that was like some of the Vinci stuff and and some of the Siege stuff it was like there was a lot of new collectors coming in and maybe they're just going to release I mean it's easy money isn't it they've got the mold they've it's been tried and tested. They don't need to bother redesigning anything. You know, they could just bring it out. The only thing I'm disappointed at is, and I don't know, is I want, I wonder if there's going to be slight differences. Like, for example, with the Optimus Prime release, it's the same exact photos they used for the original release for the Optimus Prime and his trailer, Leader Class 1. And they, those photos were wrong. So I'm just wondering that eyes going to be very dark blue like they were again. Yeah. And not light blue like the other photos and I know the yellow eyes is wrong because the hands are grey meaning they haven't been painted blue and is it going to be the same painted blue hands which a lot of people complained about meaning the war away so yeah I, I like the idea of the difference didn't we they showed yeah. the, the photos but, that came out but together the photos had are different colours yeah I bet those photos never matched the original to begin with so I'm just I, I'm just not sure because I know that the Ghostbuster um, release, the, the molding was slightly different, wasn't it? The goggles went over the eyes this time. Yeah, yeah. Up. So I just wonder, and it would be nice if there was better information out there. Is it exactly like the the reissue, or is there a slight change? Have they improved something or made something different? I would love to know that. I would love to have it in hand. You know. The thing is, if you're gonna if you're gonna say, oh well, uh, people wanted this, and that's why they're giving it to us. In that case. Where's the re-release of Metroplex, for example, which lots of people have been crying out for for a long time. I see far more people asking for that than I do for these other ones. I can only assume we're not getting it because they're doing a new one. That's my hope, anyway. 
but I mean that's that's a figure I think if they re-released it they would have a lot of people buying it again because again the secondary market prices for Metroplex is uh, quite frankly ridiculous really um, you know I've seen them for going three four five hundred pounds so if you're going to re-release something you know actually re-release things that people genuinely have on mass ask for again. But anyway, I, I get but the maybe they like have because market. I think sometimes in the UK we're kind of sheltered to the problems America has. You know, we, we tend to see what the, the big YouTubers might get and stuff like that. But a lot of Americans find it so hard to get stuff like Cosmos. Well, you even know, some of the uh, YouTubers, though, they get them because their viewers, you know, find them somewhere and actually yeah. send them to them. So, you know, it's not always that they can get them themselves even that easily. I mean, we like to come. Uh, sometimes it's it's popular to attack Hasbro Pulse. Sometimes in the UK, but Hasbro Pulse in the UK has made it so much easier for Transformer collectors to get the toys. There's no longer the mad chase where you were stuck looking at two or three independents for three orders to come in, only for it to be sold out within two minutes. Mm. We have got that freedom of choice. Doesn't mean that they're treating independents well, you know, because there's obviously a big discussion you could have about that. But, you know, for us customers, in some ways, it has been better. As long as someone keeps an eye on Hasbro Pulse, the UK, and the independents to make sure there's, there's fair play going on. You know. I think it's, it's important to interject here at this moment, Jamie, and point out that we are now at 25,000 feet. Not me and you personally, but the thing on the screen. I, I, well, they yeah, just, they I, just told us. I, I projected myself onto this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like an angel. Surprise, we're actually inside there. <laughs> it's big enough yeah. to carry two people. <laughs> this is all just a green screen behind us. We're actually going up to the space station or wherever the hell they're taking this damn thing. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Uh, somebody yeah, made surprised. the point about Scorpion. It's a one way trip, though. We're not coming back. Oh, no, we ain't coming back. <laughs> obviously. We're just floating to oblivion. No. <laughs> Tell our loved ones we never like them. Uh, Scorpionock. <laughs> Earthrise Scorpionock is another one, but we, we do know that's coming out again, or at least stock of it has been found from somewhere because uh, the whole shebang had, had and I still think, have the pre orders up for that, although they might be sold out now. Hello, Lee. I'm not surprised you can't stop. We've got 36 minutes more of this before we even get to see the trailer. Goddamn Paramount. Uh, Paramount, you crazy, foxy <laughs> lunatics. <laughs> Drew, you're at seven viewers on Twitch. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, well, you, know, you know what? You know, I, I never thought it'd be a day when I'd be this age and I'd be literally watching nothing. <laughs> 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 hey, you can see clouds. Look, look, look at the clouds. Getting a bit scary, though, isn't it? You know. It's a, yeah, it's getting a little bit high now. Uh, because we're inside, obviously. we have change the camera angle now. I, I, this is, yeah. When they said from the space station, or I, I just assumed it would just be like some astronauts up there, and they'd press a button and the trailer would play. I didn't think <laughs> we'd have to sit through an hour of this, whatever the hell this is, just to get to it. But, you know. Oh, Lee, you've only got five minutes. Bless you. If only we had something poetic to say, something, I don't know, like, how insignificant we are, but I can't think of anything like that. <laughs> Doesn't being this high up make you really think about the world? No. <laughs> no, no. It makes me think I don't want to be this high up. I'm uh, thinking I could have ordered my pizza and got it now. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. I could have taken the dog for a walk, which I've also on my list of things to do this afternoon. Could have got that out the way, early doors. And you know, we're not part Bloody of the Paramount. ungrateful generation. They are the ones who are wrong, Andy. They're wrong. <laughs> I'll have piled through my Diet Coke before this is finished. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'll have to go and get another one. But secretly, we all knew this was going to happen. Honest, it was a clever point. Brilliant Did acting we? by myself and Andy. <laughs> Oh, there's Liam. He's really we done this to scale up Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it did make me laugh that Alexis came on and within about 30 seconds just went, right, well, I'm off. <laughs> <Bye -bye>. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even stay for five minutes because he's still at work. But there you go. The funny thing is, you're panicking, thinking like we need links and stuff, and he comes on. I'll have a conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't get the damn thing work. Although the reality is, that it was all this freaking nonsense. Paramount, you have a lot to answer for. God damn you. Um, yeah. So we're very high up now. I don't. Who? Who in the marketing team went? Hey, 
Do you know what would be fucking brilliant? Is if we <laughs> did this. And they all yeah. go, yeah, that sounds great. I well, mean, there'll be people like a music on. Yeah, something. there's no music. You think they put on some Transformers music. Do, do, do. <laughs> you know, Even some of the movies, you know, some of that epic uh, is it Steve Jablonski soundtrack type stuff, just to, just to really get the mood. But no, just the sound of the wind, which has now died off as we reach really high up. <laughs> and we've I got to turn it down. Thing. The wind was just getting too real. It's almost like... Oh, you turned the wind off. Oh, there you oh, go. I turned it down. <laughs> Even then, it's really loud. If anybody's not sure, me and Jamie are sat in the little briefcase shaped thing. There. That's where we are broadcasting for you. <laughs> a great personal pill. <laughs> um, there was, I don't know, I can't remember if you mentioned it, Jamie, or somebody mentioned it in the um, in the chat about the uh, the leak of the Transformers 1 Optimus Prime figure, the deluxe figure. Um, yeah. What did you think? I'm waiting. For, I'm waiting for the official photos, and the reason I say this is that sometimes it's so easy to jump on leaked images mm. and start picking faults when you don't know about the price range. Um, I mean, because I'm kind of hoping, and and I'll be honest, um, but it's it's less than twenty four ninety nine, you know, because he did say deluxe. Um, I I think the, the the head sculpt looks really good and interesting from what I saw in the image. But the other stuff just seemed to be lacking in um, paint apps and pedazzo. It's almost like in the future, scientific vehicles are going to be painted by someone who's five years old. I, I just I just don't get that. I think they should be doing better. I think we deserve better toys. I don't think somebody did a mo I think it's a mock-up of the um, Studio Series box for it. Because I look at that, and to me, that does not look like a studio Real. series standard figure at all. It looks more like what we would expect because it is aimed at kids, the to kids kind of toy line. No, it's not yeah. a criticism. And, I'm just saying and it then it's good have that collector look, to it, which is but, fine. Yeah, because that's why I, I you know, kind of want to wait till you get official talks and and then it changes to me what the toy really is and what it's there for. Mm. You know, I wonder if we'll get the official reveal after this trailer's been shown. And also when, when you used to think about old Transformers, the, the old Transformers used to think, okay, the engineering might not be near, but they looked apart. They looked awesome in the um, alt modes, and the paint was there, the chrome was brilliant. It was just, and and they had the technology must have been way, you know, not as good back then, and yet the craftsmanship just seemed to be better. And the thought behind it might have not been so great because I think some Transformer toys um, were kind of dangerous, weren't they, with the missiles, choking hazards, and stuff like yeah. that. And, you know, but um, yeah. Oh, moth, cut your cynical BS. <laughs> uh, at least gone. Bye. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed the air sickness. <laughs> um, yeah. Moff, you know that Transformer toys are for us adults. That's why they're so bloody expensive now. <laughs> you know, they're just constantly churning them out. There's no way there's any kid, no matter if you worked in a dozen sweatshops in a year, could afford to buy the Transformer line. <laughs> uh, children's toys that aren't for children. <laughs> Have you ever seen that Star Wars one there? I think it was Saturday Night Live, did it, as a, a, a video? And it's like advertising the new Star Wars. This is years back. Advertising the new Star Wars toys, but it's all adult collectors pushing the children out the way and saying, <laughs> "We don't take it out of the box. <laughs> we leave it on the shelf." <laughs> and then it's like at the end, it's like they're not for kids. <laughs> oh, we really are getting high now. Oh, you can almost feel that cold. Actually, maybe I need to switch the heat on. No, I don't know, but yeah, it's, it should be summer. I now. mean. It's kind of fascinating. It's also boring as hell, but it's also kind of fascinating because <laughs> you'll never have this experience probably in your life. So you get to see what this so will be like. We not that I've not, dreamed of this. <laughs> just to be clear, we do not want to sacrifice the um, you know marketing team behind this to the pagan gods. <laughs> not yet, but let's see what the trailer's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> on Tech 82 with an interesting angle on it. That would be... That would certainly change this, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, 
franchise officially ruined forever. It usually is. Whenever anything new comes out, it's ruined forever. You I, killed actually, my childhood. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited, uh, but I, I also see what one of the disadvantages Transformers has is this constant need for reinvention. Mm. Where when you look at other mainstream wars and characters out there, or franchises, they don't seem to have that pressure. They can just turn out the same story again and again every new decade, maybe just change things slightly, like the Silver Age, the Golden Age. Did they have a Bronze Age? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, you know, with Transformers, it's always like, must reinvent, you know. Uh, oh, Greg, with a bit of insight, possibly. Seeing uh, sent into space, 100% they are behind this. Are actually lovely people have done a bunch of stuff with them. Oh, interesting. Um, I mean, I, I get, I get it. It's there'll be lots of news agencies reporting this, and it's all part of so drumming Greg, up that excitement. Could they maybe have told us that? <laughs> yeah, maybe tell us in advance, though. Especially for those who may have taken time off work for this nonsense. It's like getting asked to clear a minefield and then the person says, run across really fast. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they just tell you to run across the, the field. And just before you start, they say, oh, by the way, there's mines. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's what they say. Oh, you said, oh, this is a lovely spot for a picnic. Can you go, actually, we're in the middle of a minefield. Well done for making it this far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we now know this is a safe route. <laughs> Will the screen on the side of that drone survive space? Imagine if it fails. Well, won't that be even more thrilling for us all to sit and watch static or just a black screen? I, well, I hope if it does start to fail, at least to show the trail as it starts to plummet back towards Earth. <laughs> That would have been entertaining. Take it that hard. It would, as it, it starts to burn up, as the chair is still playing him, you're just getting the last couple of seconds of fame's in. Steve Jablonski go, comes in. Yeah, not him personally, it, the music. It'd be like that time, um, was it the, the Autobots graveyard in space or grave ship? Remember, it just burned up in the, um, uh, the sort of sun. Yeah. And yeah. they went, it's beautiful or something like that. Was it Optimus Prime piloted it in there or something? Yeah. And somehow survived. <laughs> so, <laughs> somehow he came back. Does it make you think when Optimus Prime died in Transformers in movie, they just didn't try to bring him back? Well, he's dead. <laughs> he's but he's a mechanical totally dead. life form. Yeah, he's not. He's all. He's all grey now. <laughs> he's nothing you can do. Oh, uh, the reinventing Transformers thing, though, we have to remember as well that is about. That's it's about money. It's about being able to sell new toys. So there is method to the madness. But you're right. The changing of the law sometimes seems just a bit unnecessary. But they want to change things up. You know, some work, some don't. Definitely got to be a GoBots film. They are me, just playing. Me, with. Oh my god! If it's oh, that's crazy. The first movie trailer in space is well into the stratosphere. You know, that's nearly 1,796 Optimus Primes tall. That is, wow, that's really specific. Yeah. Mm. I'm good at math stuff. Math stuff. Maths. Maths. Like, just I do that. like this. <laughs> do you know, uh, my wife has shown no interest in this film whatsoever when I've tried to discuss it with her, and then I showed her the clip that came out of Chris Hemsworth and his co-star, whose name I can't remember now, uh, having their little chat. And all of a sudden, she, she she's more interested in the film. I can't. I did tell her it's a cartoon. I said he's not actually Suspicious. physically in it. It's just the voice. Unbelievable. Struth indeed. So we're over 50,000 feet. So it's not actually going to space. But it's literally just going up into what is counted as space and then they'll play it. I, right, I tell then. you what, uh, if there is go bots in this, we riot. <laughs> and I say that. Oh, but what if there is? <laughs> and then you have to riot. <laughs> what does a riot look like around where you live? Don't cut the grass. <laughs> The reason we're strangely committed is because, you know, I'm just too lazy to get off my seat, to be honest. I just... <laughs> well, I've, I've stayed here this long. I couldn't leave you on your own, and there's 25 minutes left now, so I may as well see it through. Uh... No, I'm going to have to switch off my... It's going to be a Rick roll. <laughs> I'd almost respect them for that, though. <laughs> we got Rick rolled at the end of this. Uh, oh, yeah, was, God, that was. Ah. You're right, that Jake. <laughs> I know. It's just I. I just looked at it. See when you first put it up, I went. Surely that must be the. 
a replay of the time an hour ago. <laughs> and it started to dawn on me. No, no, it's live now. I mean, that's what I was worried. I thought we'd we'd miss the whole thing and we just started playing it from the start. But no, the countdown was from when we joined. Uh, exactly. That, this is the thing. Seven sixty nine. You kind of you're in now. <laughs> you, if you've invested this long and you can, you may as well stay to the end and hope that the payoff is worth it. Yes. Is, is the juice worth the squeeze, as they say? We'll find out. Where, where did they say that? I've not heard that term before. Uh, it was from, the uh, first time I ever heard it was on a film, and I can't remember what the film's called now, but it was really Did it have good. German accents? No, no, well, kind <laughs> of. It had a link, because it was about a young lad, about 16 years old or whatever, uh, and he, he might be 17. Anyway, the point is, is a new next-door neighbour moves in, this last uh, year or two older than him. Anyway, he discovers that she's was formerly a porn star, and then it's like a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but she had, yeah, she basically had like a, an abusive ex boyfriend who got her into it, and he turns up and he basically threatens the lad and says to the lad, "What well, you've got to disguise, d- decide is is the juice worth the squeeze?" So you know, is he is he going to take the risk of trying to pursue this relationship with her? And I always like the phrase. <laughs> and the film was funny, and I can't remember the name of it. The Girl Next Door! Thank you, Greg! There it is, The Girl Next Door! Oh, I want to watch that now. Well, not right now. <laughs> I, I think I think you'll recall seeing that. Yeah, there was... Um, was it one of the guys that looked like he was on... Um, was it Jackass or something, playing the dodgy producer? Or uh, like no, it wasn't the uh, Jackass. Uh, it was the guy... Oh, God, the actor, whose name I know. And he but played... I remember he pushed the kid in the closet or something, pretended to be all nice, then he got really aggressive. Yeah, yeah, they got horrible yeah. with it. He, um, yeah. he was the... Um, Sheriff in uh, oh my, the Mandalorian, the sheriff guy who had Boba Fett's armor, whose name again I can't remember. Anyway, it's that actor, really good actor. Um, and he is Timothy Oliphant. Thank you, Greg. You, know, you and Google Greg are on it today. He's got one of the best profile pictures, hasn't he? He just looks like he could be like a Hollywood <laughs> movie star or something like that. <laughs> maybe he is. We don't know. Yeah, maybe he is. <laughs> That's it. Because we can't even remember the names of them. So he could be. We just don't know. <laughs> no. What do you do for a living, Greg? Are you an actor? Went a bit Alexis with my pronunciation of actor there. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Is this a new movie, Yusuf? Yes, it is the new movie trailer, um, which starts in 21 minutes. But we were all told it started <laughs> about 40 minutes ago, and it didn't. It was. Uh, we've had an hour of this. So we're waiting just till it begins. <sighs> uh, I remember the Autobots oh, arrival in the 07 movie being faster and more exciting. I mean, it was <laughs> significantly faster and more exciting. Um, but that, that's but, just... You know, I'm actually looking forward to Transformers 1 and I, and I think I will definitely go and see it. Maybe not at the cinema, but on a streaming... Oh, service. I'm going to see it on a big screen. I think you've got... When there's a Transformers film... Even when they're utter dross, you've still got to go and try and 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 support the brand because otherwise I, I we don't get for these B-verse. things. I lived through so was that. I lived through it too, <laughs> you know, and I know there's you fans know. of it. But if I was in Mount Doom, I might oh. be throwing some of those phones <laughs> into an <if> fire. <laughs> oh, games PR guy. There's a lot of um, our community. Well, maybe not a lot, but there's a number of people in our community um, that I've either met or do like this direct to you you watching that uh, seem to be involved in the games industry as well so maybe it's just it's, you know that lovely nerdy group of us all, all i've got to say is that profile pictures for nerdy games guys sure have changed in my day you know, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be a work one though you can't be looking like you know terrible can you don't be looking yeah. daft. it's like all the linkedin photos people have nowadays where they tend to look mean and moody my wants me in my rugby top in japan yes it is yeah have i mentioned them being to japan <laughs> no, no. yeah yeah, you've got to support. There's, there's a good comment from me. You've got to support the brand outside of the thousands of pounds that we spend on toys uh, every. Well, I was going to say year, but in some cases, for some of us a month. Uh, da, 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 da. What if Scourge is alive? I, I, this is a prequel movie, so this is telling. It's set from what I understand pre-war, and it tells the tale of how Orion Pax, who becomes Optimus Prime, and Megatron, and Bumblebee, and everybody kind of know, come to know each other and basically pre-war so do, do you know what I'll, I'll tell you this i i this synapsis might seem like oh my god it's like a dull reworking of the idw comic it released remember the last one before you know they lost the rights 
which kind of had that, and it was oh, such a slow build up that people were dying of old age. But um, Fallout 4, and um, not Fallout 4, Fallout the TV series on Amazon and Shogun has is, is reminded me how good writing and acting can be. Yes. And it doesn't matter if you change stuff or or who's in it, blah, blah, blah. When these actors have got good writers and good directors, the shows are fantastic. And I, I, I don't care about the synapses or what my mind starts to think. Ignore the 10 years of bad stuff being produced by Hollywood and Disney. And don't lie, it's bad stuff. Because when you have shows like Shogun and um, Fallout, you know, it's just, they're brilliant. Fallout is fantastic. Fallout is brilliant. Yeah. And uh, Shogun is just... Um, I have... I, I think I mentioned this to you yesterday, Jamie, in a, in a little chat that we were having and uh, about Shogun, because you, you'd seen the latest episode, oh, and I had so dramatic. and I watched it, <laughs> and it was... I was literally on the edge of my seat, and it was like, I know. oh my god, and then you have to wait, like, another week. You, you know, so I, I'm, I'm hopeful that the good writers are starting to get jobs again, and, and no longer those I mean, sometimes you, you write bad stuff because I think is it done by um, committee sometimes and the writers don't get a chance to shine. Yeah. You know. um, there's a question being asked there. Uh, da, 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 is Anthony Ramos in this week? They, uh, it's worth going through some of the people we know are in the voice cast. So you've got Chris Hemsworth. You've got Brian Tyree Henry, who was the guy sat with Chris Hemsworth in the little bits of video we keep seeing. Scarlett Johansson is a little one. Uh, oh, Brian Tyree Henry is Megatron in it, and Chris Hemsworth is Optimus Brian, in case you don't know. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is Alpha Trion. John Hamm is Sentinel Prime. Um, I'm hoping he's more the Sentinel Prime that we saw in kind of the IDW comics uh, rather than the silly one from from uh, animated, but we'll see. And then Keegan-Michael Key is Bumblebee with Steve Buscemi in it, but I, he's not credited with what character or characters he plays. Anything with Buscemi in, I will watch guaranteed well to be honest the thing that made me realize about Fallout was um there's so many good actors which you've always seen in bit parts and in other series um and they're fantastic and even shogun you know because that that, that um well you know the main female actress involved there and um, she's been in a lot of stuff and it goes to show that you know sometimes these actors just need a good written part and and they'll they'll carry it and they'll they'll do it so well. I like that comment from Windsweeper. <laughs> Just the Loki <laughs> falling. <laughs> I've been falling for thirty minutes. Uh I'm sure it'll be a lot faster on the way down. <laughs> Seventy five thousand feet now. We're there. But you know one comment us. I did not like and it was when someone said, Oh, I'm fed up using big names for these Transformer movie films and I'm thinking Transformers the movie in 1986 and you got Orson Welles you know by my D boy Judd Nelson who was pretty damn big at that time yeah you know do you know what though the, the, yeah the big name actors I know everybody well not everybody but a lot of fans just want Peter Cullen and Frank Welker all the time but you know it's we're gonna, we're gonna there is gonna come a day when it will be different actors unless we find some way of forever keeping them alive so and, and oh, we look, don't want some. to do that is that the sun? Or are we... I'm pretty sure it's the sun. <laughs> but the, the thing there you, is, there you go. people forget some of these big actors can bloody act well. You know, they yeah. can do it. You know, they oh, yeah. can be good voice actors. This It'll be interesting to see how they do as voice actors. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. I think I think good old big Chris, my friend Chris, he'll do well. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth, he, he's usually good and Scarlett Johansson. That, I mean, that was the one that really surprised me as well. Um, and Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne as Alpha Trion could be really good, but we, we just won't know until we see it, will we? And yeah. even then, we'll all have slightly differing opinions. So we might like it, but we'll like it But you know what? Like it. If you go to listen to correct opinions, tune in for Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> for our special review episode. <laughs> Which we will probably do at some point. Uh, da, 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 da. Hasbro debunking the flat earth theory, quite possibly. Oh my god, it was a ploy. <laughs> flat earthers are up in arms. Damn you, Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> 
What have we got to I've, now? I've got to see from this view, it does look like a very oval disc. <laughs> is it just me? Is it starting to like wobble a bit now? And it's like it's getting a little bit rougher up there. But we may I, actually I, see it fall. <laughs> I just hope there's no one up there. Like there's some video camera guy going, oh, I think this is a bad <laughs> <laughs> He's not made the small print. <laughs> sacrifice, your sacrifice of you. No. So by doing this, I believe they can claim that the first movie to have the first trailer premiered in space is that is that like something people were desperate for? Is that again something <laughs> people were calling out for? <laughs> don't I, give us toys I, we want. Show I us honestly a trailer didn't know space. that. But surely, it, surely the the stuff we've been sending up into space. <laughs> Um, it's all nonsense. It's all no, we don't. Don't we have like picking? Not the stuff we um, send in space. That's real. But I mean, but don't we know. have shuttles or I don't know space capsules going out there transmitting our TV shows and books yeah, for yeah, intelligent exactly. life? The search for intelligent life on Earth continues. Yeah. Uh, hoping with Helmut Swicker a different voice for Pax and different one for Prime. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean. Yeah, we probably will get some variation of it, I suppose. I always like the actors who tend to do things like the the uh, Prince Adam and He-Man, the way they can change their voices. So it's the same actor doing Prince Adam, but then the voice for He-Man sounds I, fairly I, I would be against AI voice acting because I think every generation should have new heroes to look up to and new people to follow. We, we, mm. I don't ever want to go down an AI route, which is almost like a shell or mimicking something that once meant a lot to a lot of people. I think sometimes you've got to let things go. Like that that one good Disney cartoon, um, where you go, what's it, what's it, Snow, whatever it's called, I don't know. <laughs> one good Disney cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's a bold statement. In, in the modern era, in the modern era. <laughs> Discuss, chat. <laughs> because I would you argue that... Are I, you talking about Frozen? Is that I, I would say... <laughs> Treasure Island was that done by Disney? I can't remember. Yes, the Treasure Space Island Tra was. Oh, that was brilliant. And Atlantis were good as well. Why? It was interesting because they were two of the ones that were the biggest um, financial failures. And um, I enjoyed them, so I'm okay. <laughs> slap, slap, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would. Um, he's the other side of the box, so I can't reach. <laughs> I'll get him later. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> we do not condone violence, by the way. Uh, imagine this is all CGI. Fans, no, not even GoBot fans deserve it. I mean, the GoBot fans, they're pure, they suffered enough. <laughs> imagine this is all CGI and they mimic the whole robot destroys the camera from the 07 teaser. A lot of time and effort, mind you. I mean, that would be a huge amount of expense. I suppose, maybe not. I don't know how it costs. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Is that the sun? Is that the sun up there? Oh. <laughs> is it real? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously there's only one sun, so it has to be. <laughs> Not if it's CGI. Ooh. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a Just star. Just like the moon closer. landings. I'm, no, I'm joking. That, that was a joke. Let's not get into that. Right. 11 minutes before we finally see what we were supposed to see 48 minutes ago or so. Is the excitement building? Know, I think this is the longest I've been on the internet and not looked at porn. This is the achievement. <laughs> well, hang on. Hang on. Even on a Friday night during the show. <laughs> There's a confession. Especially on a Friday night during the show and Alexis starts talking. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. <laughs> Uh, is that a screen cover that's going to drop away? I don't, I don't really know. I mean, it almost would have been more entertaining if they just dropped it. They just launched it from space down to the Earth. I, I, I don't, yeah. Do you know what's sad? If it's going to float up there in space and then one day it's going to come crashing down and I wonder where it lands because it'd be awful if it takes out someone's house. Well, whatever this is, surely it, it will, it is set up to return to Earth. I, mean, I hope they've got the right sound, or I'll be disappointed. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Not this moment, Greg. No, that would just be rude. Plus, I've only got one screen. I mean, I suppose I could split the screen. Anyway, we're putting too much thought into it now. Oh, oh dial up. I'll tell you what, Windsweeper. There we are, showing our age. 
Uh, I've got to say, this is obviously the longest trailer in history because technically, this is all part of it, isn't it? Um, I suppose it's the build. I mean, and again, you speak of records. This must be the longest trailer. Again, thank you to all of you who are still with us. I am both shocked and in some ways horrified that so many of you have sat through well, this. I've been looking at this like thirty-six people viewing, and yeah, it's quite yeah. steady. Yeah. Steady away, steady away, lads. I tell you what, it's no wonder we drink on a Friday night. My God. Well, I would like to drink, but I feel like Alexis is on their head and drank bottle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, flat earthers. <laughs> look at the curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I feel like we should have uh, we should have said at the very start, just skip like 58 minutes on <laughs> if you don't want to sit through all our nonsense. When you watch it later, obviously, no life. Uh, I've been similar where people attach GoPros to a balloon, send it into space, and eventually the balloon will just pop and the camera will fall. There might be a parachute release in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking going for 400. I mean, if it does fall in someone's house, let's hope it doesn't. But if it does, hope it's a GoBot fan. That's all I can see. Didn't they use a similar system to this when that guy did that highest ever free fall where he's basically up in whatever you call it, the stratosphere or whatever, and he, they used a balloon to get him all the way up there, and then he dived out, and apparently, like Guyver just said, the, the balloon pops, it's got a parachute on, when it falls to a certain height, the parachute deploys, and it floats gently down to the earth to be recovered. And so did he, in the end, just to be clear. He didn't just, he didn't just plummet. He was sponsored by Red Bull. I remember watching it in a school with kids, because it was live, and the kids wanted to see it, so we put it on there somewhere in America. <laughs> I feel sad, but I always like it when these things horribly go wrong and the person takes the detail to, like, a sh I don't know, a swamp, in alligator-infested swamp. <laughs> land somewhere you really don't want it to. And all these alligators start opening their mouths up. It's <laughs> down. Indiana Jones style. Yeah. Uh, 27,000 watching the official stream. Well, more fool them, eh? They could be here with us. Scandalous. Uh, Felix Baumgartner, thank you, Guyva. Yeah, that's the guy. There was one that did it without a parachute. I used the massive. Are you thinking of Wiley e. Coyote? <laughs> uh, I happily accept G1 Soundwave's voice if it was properly replicated. What, by AI? Well, I don't, is, is it that hard to replicate it? I don't know. Uh, I think it's better. scary now, isn't it? Because oh, and he's disappeared. <laughs> he may return. I hope he returns because he's got the <laughs> he's got the uh, the actual link. Jamie, wherever you've gone, return. <laughs> he's coming back. He's coming back. I don't know what happened there. Is any time now? <laughs> oh no, he's he's still fixing things. But I get kicked. <laughs> what happened there? You just disappeared. You have no idea the panic that just went through my I, I just kicked. <laughs> but what you should do is you've got the you've got you sent me the link. You should be yeah. able to open. I, yeah, that. no, well, I, I was literally seconds from doing. I was waiting for a message from you saying something something horrible had happened. I fallen. I can't get happen. up. My my genuine levels have gone through the roof this day. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear I waited mate. 55 minutes for the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, it's only a five second delay and more fun watching with you guys. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, you um... delete me, Moff. I'm a force of nature. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to accuse me of something that I literally was just saying, not, touch <laughs> not touching anything. You just went. <laughs> Oh, the AI. Oh, the AI. Maybe that's what after you. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. It's this year, Yusuf. September 2024. Um, so five minutes now. Five minutes. Last thoughts. What do you think? What do you think we might see? I think it's going to be brilliant. I, I think we should I think we should all take it on the chin and just say and be behind this because we want Transformers to be a success. You know, exactly. it cannot be Netflix. Netflix is the one thing I couldn't lie about. That was awful. But, you know, everything else I'm totally for, you know, 
the, the, the recent Transformers cartoon we've had, I think he's been brilliant. You know, it's been different. It's been adventurous. So I'm hoping this is something new as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think Earth Spark was good. It had its moments. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they do with it because I assume this origin story will become canon. So yeah. how much of what we kind of as older uh, fans who you know have read basically the entire yeah. wiki, how much of that will feature in it? It'll be interesting. And, and let people have their good and bad takes. I mean, because it's just social yeah. media. People don't need to like it. You know, let them have their good and bad takes. It's social media. Their opinions don't really matter. Petitions don't matter. It's usually run by the worst type of people anyway. You know, so hey, let's Pete's just enjoy in. it. I'm assuming you're still working, Pete. Otherwise, you'd be on with us. Little Pete's here. Little Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Peter sits next to me now when I sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's basically an Optimus origin story. Well, kind of, yeah. A, a war origin story. That's what we're expecting, we think. Yeah. If I had to choose something, I would say go back to the way we told stories in the 80s. You know, be brutal, have evil. Don't try to explain that evil has some good points to it. No, it doesn't. It's evil. Yeah. <laughs> I think Pete's a bit upset by Pete or <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh bless. Um, go back, Moff. Something Moff said uh, uh, it might be October for us. I think uh, I think you might be right, Moff. I'm sure they did say that they were pushing it back wait, slightly wait, for the UK release. Wait a minute. Didn't originally the Transformers movie come out in December, the 1986 animation? In America, it was August. In uh, uh, UK, it was December. It was yeah, towards the end of the year. Yeah, December. So so. so Theoretically, then going by that, since you're saying in September, we should be going January next year. We should want our one. <laughs> what to, to to replicate that same yeah. experience? And if do you have any idea it, how many how many people <laughs> will be illegally streaming that film in that six months? Away? I, I say <laughs> true fan. I I'm going to watch it on the cinema in January. <laughs> true fan. <laughs> the elite. Yeah, you strike me as the kind of guy, Jamie. You'd have, say, I don't know, a Robus and Grimlock. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh my god! I had no idea. Never. Comes and off. with uh, the limited accessory set as well. Fantastic. Ah, the mm -hmm. true elite. <laughs> right, we've got one minute and fifty-six seconds. So um, prepare yourselves, people. We're going in. I, I suggest that during the trailer, we of course be silent and let people just enjoy it, and then we'll chat more about it once it's finished. If time is up, there's cheating. No, thanks. Does it seem to be so windy up there? I guess with no atmosphere, that's the whole point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Science 101. Sorry, Snyant. <laughs> if only we'd had Lexus here being a man of Snyant, he could have I explained don't know about this. I do you, but that is in his son. That's <laughs> the <definitely laughs> son. Yes, I did spot it earlier on. <laughs> you know. oh, well, it's a lovely shot. Are they going to come back on the screen any moment now to, to do the final introduction of the trailer? I'm guessing they will. Very impressive, though. There we go. Ooh, what a lovely curve to the Earth. <laughs> Again, big hello to all your flat Earthers out there. <laughs> oh, you mentalists. Right. No, actually, I'm not supposed to use it anymore. As it has explained, explained to me that mentalist <laughs> actually makes you sound like you're quite intelligent and know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was using it more in the Alan Partridge style. Thirty-eight he didn't seconds. Make it funny, didn't he? <laughs> We're waiting for this now. We waited all this time. Watch it crash, <laughs> literally just before it starts. Uh, a moment of silence before we begin. This is it, boys. One hundred twenty-five thousand feet. We are very high up, Jamie. Hold on. It's a good thing this All right, Transformers move. fans, it's finally time. That's right, don't move. The, the Transformers, Transformers 1 trailer, trailer starts now. now.
So, how long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. You know what? We are so screwed! Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. Report to Waste Management. Hi there, I'm B127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. Um, we're gonna call you B. I know we're just lowly worker bots who can't even transform. Don't you wanna see what's out there? There's a reason no one goes to the surface. It's dangerous! Why'd you bring jetpacks? If we survive this, I'm gonna kill you! I accept those terms! The surface... It's... beautiful. have proven yourself worthy. Take these and access your full potential. It's time to show them we are more than meets the eye. We can transform now! On three, one... <gasps> It's working! Where's my head? How do we use these things? Oh, look at the wheels! I need wheels! Woo! Uh, guys, that's not good. We've got these powers for a reason. Let's use them. We stand here together. As one. Whoa! I got a battle mask! It appeared with this guy! Knife hands? I have knife hands! I can see that. B, these are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? What? No, it was already like that. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. It was yeah, yes. it was already mm -hmm. like yeah, that's right. Transformers trailer launch in space. Oh, so <laughs> is that that's the end then? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there it is. It's done. Uh, I, I think <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> I can't believe I've been sat here for an hour. <laughs> but you were. <laughs> I enjoyed you that. Don't... I thought it looked fun. Uh, yeah. It's very funny. I think I will have to see that in the cinema now. <laughs> yeah, that, that looked good. That looked interesting as well. And there was one or two. I'd love to watch it back uh, later on. and just Quintessons. It, it seemed like to me yeah. like the Quintessons. Something the like Quintessons that, yeah. Book controlling your Transformers by controlling their cogs so and they can transform a, to rise up. There was a look like, a bit like a black arachnid or arachnid um, at one point in the trailer, so it'd be interesting to see if we get that, because that means we get a bit of Beast Wars action in that there. That means by the time she gets to Beast Wars, she's a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> is that canonical, or is that just in your mind? I don't know. I don't <laughs> it's don't know. not canon I... now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought that looked a lot of fun. I get like some people had said in advance who'd seen clips there or probably seen that trailer that it, um, it maybe seemed a bit more aimed at kids, but I have the mind of a 12 no, year old. No, so I, I, yeah, I, I don't see how they can say it's aimed at kids. I, I, when they said that, I almost had ideas of Teletubbies or something like that. But to yeah. me, the humor seemed to match kids and adults like Shrek, um, yeah. done. Well, Greg's just said, you know, like he said, he's hoping it's more kid friendly because then he can take his kids. I'd love to take my kids to see that. I think they'd actually enjoy it because it's got that fun element to it, and it is funny. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really. Do you know, know what, 
Go on. I am so happy I've experienced this with a great bunch of people because that it truly did make it more special, I think, rather than just watching it myself. Yeah. And I was here too, so that's that, that makes, that's, that's nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it, it had that feeling of like the to me the comedy and stuff a bit like the Lego Movie and Shrek and stuff like that. It's just like jokes that you can find funny whether you're young or old. Uh, Bumblebee looks like he's going to be good fun as well. But then Alpha yeah. Trion, um, Elita One seemed to kick butt. Um, yeah, it looked interesting. It was I'll just be... quite exciting, and it's a good launch, and, and I'm all for that. And it just seemed yeah. like a new lore. It seemed to me, it reminded me of the old Transformers cartoon, that the Quintessons are the ones that maybe built the Transformers and controlled their cogs, because it never explained how they got the, the transforming part in, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just I'm just excited. Obviously, I'm guessing there might be other reasons, you know, Unicron, they could be working for Unicron, you know, enslaving the Transformers who could have rised up to stop them, but they're like yeah. uh, being held back. And the, the Megatron and Optimus diverging the destinies, probably both destined to stop Unicron, but had different ways of wanting to do it. Well, we I saw that little out. bit of the Decepticon badge, the brand falling to yeah, the floor. So and I, know, I would yeah. assume that might be very much near the end of the film. And so obviously, I started point. to jump, I started to think about the Cybertronian Empire. Remember about that branched yeah. off, and, and they had the uh, evil version of what their premise was or their matriarch or patriarch whatever that was we never really got to see that in the comics and never really went into it in more detail but there, there was definitely something there <laughs> sorry i've just seen alexis's message i thought he took a message about this it's actually about his missing link figure bless him oh you'll get it sorted alexis you'll get it sorted Right. Uh, if nothing else, I've got Optimus from being voiced by Chris Hemsworth. I quite liked his take. Grandiose enough, but not Cullen like try hard. Yeah, I actually thought he did a really good job, and it's Orion Pax, I suppose, at this point. Um, so yeah, I, I overall very positive. I enjoyed that. I thought it looked fun. I look forward to reading all of the not so positive comments on social media, but I think there'll be a lot of positivity. Uh, yes, that yes, definitely. Because when it comes to not positive comments, I like to take some pride in the fact Transformers the shows the people who push those non-positive comments. But we are quite positive, so it would take a hard person to be not positive about this trailer. Or just a tool. But yeah. <laughs> just, uh, more but along the lines of... Don't quote us on that, because that's Andy who said that, not me. <laughs> I, I, oh, no, I, I, you can quote me on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, it's Windsweeper said it seems more along the lines of Guardians of the Galaxy. It definitely has that kind of yeah. like Thor Ragnarok kind of feel. That, that lots of comedy, but action as well. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm down for that. Definitely down for that. Plus, we don't know about how ages and Transformers really work because remember, Hot Rod is always seen as young, but how many millions of years of age is he? And you know, how old was Optimus Prime before mm. he crashed into Earth and was unconscious? Well, deactivated for four million years, so. Yeah, well, this is it. You know, we've got the whole thing that they their life cycle is very different to ours. So, yeah, they live for millions, can live for millions of years. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I thought that looked a lot of fun. It's a shame that Alexis couldn't join us and the rest of the team as well um, due to work and everything. But at least we got to enjoy. Yeah. And enjoy do you know what? Together. Paul might not be here. Alexis is not here. But Pete was here with representation. <laughs> Of this little figure of Peter, and it sounds, my heart. it sounds like like Alexis saying it. Peter, <laughs> God bless. Yes. Uh, yeah, we should probably should probably wrap it up then. So thank you very much to all the people in the chat. Uh, I mean, we got up to about forty something uh, who were at the uh, live chat. One point. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Wow, there you go. So. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and, and keeping uh, us entertained. You know, you basically stopped me looking at porn, guys. So that's an amazing <laughs> achievement. On internet, but he forgives so. you. <laughs> <laughs> he forgives you. Not immediately, but he'll, he'll get there in the end. Uh, where can they find us, Jamie, if they want to get more of our wonderful content? Well, hopefully on this YouTube channel, you're watching it on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're also on Twitter. Um, that's the TF Show UK, um, and we're also on um, Instagram. Well, I'm on Instagram. That's at Storm Toy Photography, 
and we've also got a Facebook group which you, you have to sort of apply to as well which is Transformers The Show it's not too complicated, easy to type in <laughs> easy and, questions and I've also got links as well on the YouTube so you've got things like for like Al Fire, Pete's Twitter account, um, Andy's Twitter account as well you know, so we've got a many add of links in the info section of this actual YouTube video as well. So you could have a gander and look at it as well as Rohan's Corner, which hopefully will come back when he's managed to get the workload under control. But yes, thank you everyone for tuning in and keeping everyone company today. It's been brilliant and I really do appreciate it. Any more thoughts, Sandy? No, I think you summed it up. And a very good job there with the uh, where they can find us as well. I think, yeah, important we let people know that we're out there in the community. Should they wish to, should they wish to send us a message or comment or just follow us somewhere? Like, like the video and subscribe. <laughs> Yay! And share it. Why not share it with your friends? But warn them maybe to skip the first fifty-eight minutes if they don't listen to that nonsense. <laughs> oh, oh, do it. it that would yeah. be a test to see how dedicated the show <laughs> yeah. are. Just drop it on them. Just talk make your watch partners them. watch this tonight. <laughs> And watch Again. them. See how many times they blink. If they go over a certain amount of blinks uh, within an hour. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>